For street safety advocates, one of the most important tools we have always fought for is the use of daylighting throughout New York City's streets and intersections. Daylighting is sort of an old-fashioned term. Generally, it means to make an intersection as clear as possible and improve visibility between drivers and pedestrians at crossings so each user can better anticipate the other. This is especially important for children, seniors, and those in wheelchairs who are more likely to be blocked by cars parked on corners. In this pair of diagrams from Open Plans, you can see daylighting is generally achieved by removing or prohibiting car parking at the corners of intersections. And in this set from NACTO, you get to see an even larger view of a busy roadway and how much more a driver's line of sight is opened up. But this can also be accomplished by placing amenities for the public good in those spaces that's easier to see through than a parked car. This can include planters, public seating, bike racks, bus stops, bike share docks, bios whales, and so much more. Check out this short montage of items they use in Hoboken, New Jersey, where they do this very well with a variety of treatments. They use paint, bollards, bike share, curb extensions, a lot of innovative things to keep people from parking on the corners. And since the advent of street dining in New York City due to COVID, this has helped to make intersection visibility a great side effect of the new policy for dining parklets. Of the 10,000 plus parking spaces now filled by street dining, many are at the intersections of ends of roads. Often corners now have sidewalk dining, and since the spaces are set back from the street, it gives drivers and pedestrians better views of each other. And with more life on our sidewalks, more open streets for businesses, and having fewer cars parked right up to, or on top of, crosswalks, our city is becoming safer and more lively. We look forward to what 2021 will bring.